Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, thank you for clicking. Today, we're going to be looking at another Extreme Raid product, and this one is the Clicky for the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Now, I've got the four here. The reason being, I fitted this Clicky kit to this about a year ago, or roughly around then. I'm just going to show you what it does. So when I press the back triggers, that's how far these go down. So if you're playing a game like Call of Duty or something, you can aim and shoot so much faster. If you're playing a racing game, obviously these are no good because you won't have throttle control. The R1 and L1 are more like a click, click, click. Whereas they do go down a little bit, but it's only like millimetres. Whereas if you look on here and I press that, you can see how far the travel is. It goes all the way down. So that's what we're going to be doing on this. If you didn't see me previous video, I have fitted back buttons to the dual sense, and I'm really enjoying them. So the same thing I'm always going to do. We're going to do a little unboxing, show you what you get inside, and then we're going to fit it. For the purpose of this video, I did go out and I got a brand new control pad because this one I'm going to do a separate video showing you how to fit the clicky and the back buttons together. But for this one, we're just going to have the back buttons. Let's get to the unboxing or the unpackaging, I should say. So when you get this, it's got a couple of little staples on the side. All I've done was got a little screwdriver, put them in, prized it out. And it's got extreme rate on the front of here. Not sure how well you can see that. And then if we go inside, just to show you what you do get. So in here, you get your little blue prizing tool. You get a little screwdriver and you get spare screws if you do need them. Over here, you've got these what are kind of 3D printed and you've got to cut them off yourself. But I'm going to try and just bend them and snap them. Hopefully I don't need anything to cut them off. If I do, I will use something. As always, you get a little one year warranty card. And inside here is the little sort of ribbon cables what you use for the buttons themselves. These are really small. That's what that's what they look like. So let's get to the fitting. It looks like I'm sorted. I've got everything over here and I'm ready to dismantle. So the first thing that you want to do is remove this front cover. I've got my little prize and tool here. And all you want to do is put it in the corner here, either side. So I'm just going to push that in here, like that. And then that, that clips off there. And then same with this side, just get the prizing tool, put it in here. You don't have to be really hard, just, just put it in. You'll, uh, you'll know when it's gone in, like there, it has gone in. If I lift that up a little bit, it's lifted up. Now what I do like to do is put the prizing tool along here and just make sure that's loose. You don't have to be really hard, but just to make sure everything's, everything's coming away. So that side's done. And that side's done as well, so it's as easy as that. And then just lift this up. And then all that does is just lifts over. And then when you want to put it back, it just lifts under. There's two tiny little sides on there. So I'm going to put this to one side. Now, the next thing what I want to do is I've got a screw here and a screw there. But first off, I'm going to pop these out. Last time when I did pop these out, one flew away from us. So just put that under here. Give it a little twist on both sides and then that comes off and then just put that to one side I'll try and show you that again so the prizing tool just put it underneath there i've got the prizing tool pointing that way so put it under just twist twist so so left right and then we've got two tiny little screws here and here if i can show you them a little bit better got that one there that one there and then underneath, I've lost them. Where the hell they gone? There you go. That's where they are. And the, that one in the corner there and that one over there. So if you bear with us a second, I'm going to take these off. All the screws are removed now. I've taken all them off. And then next, what you want to do, you've got two tiny little tabs there and there. And then you just want to get your prize and little tool and just put it underneath. So hopefully you can see on the camera, I'm just going to put that underneath. Just lift one side up a little bit. Lift the other side up a little bit. And then hopefully... That should have done it. And I'm just going to put my prizing tool there. Put my prizing tool there. So that way, prizing tool, if you can see that, I just put it under. Just lifted it up a little bit. I put my thumb here as a little bit tension. Lifted that one. And then that opens the case. And then now it should just be the case of cracking it open. There we go. And then this just lifts over like that. Put that to one side. And the next thing is to remove the battery now last time i thought best was if i hold this here put my thumb here and it just lifts up then to remove the battery all it is is just a little connector here if you just wiggle that out and the battery is removed 
put that over there to one side now the next little thing is this down here the way I'm going to do it is pull the ribbon cable up and then it should just lift out there we go that one is out hopefully I'm in focus so I'm going to put this to one side then the next thing what I want to do is just quickly take this screw out the screw here is just the the battery holder the case so that just lifts up same thing I'll always say just leave that screw in there and put that to one side now you've got quite a few ribbon cables on here you've got a one up here you've got one at the left a one at the right and a one down here on the bottom now last time when I was doing it I was struggling a little bit to grab them and I was saying tweezers would probably be your best bet but I'm gonna try again without tweezers So this bottom one, at the very, very, very bottom, you know what, I'm going to try and focus so I can get a little bit better view. Right, that looks better. So this bottom one there, I've just gently wiggled out. The top one, you know what, I don't think I'm going to, this is blue on, on this one, mine wasn't. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some tweezers for that one. This one on the side here has got a little, a little grab bit where you can just grab and pull it up. I'm making a, making a liar out myself. I can, feel, I can feel it coming. It's it's gently, gently, gently coming. Just be careful with these. Don't be don't be really hard or anything. If you're struggling, like I say, just get some tweezers. That one came out a lot easier. But this top one, I'm definitely, definitely gonna get some tweezers to just put in there and just pull that out. So if you bear with a second, tweezers, and I will be back. I'm back and I've got my tweezers. Rather than doing it off camera, I thought I might as well do it on camera. So with the tweezers, all I'm gonna do is hold in the middle of this. And just there we go it's up to be honest I don't think you'd be able to do that without tweezers because this is a different design to the one that I've got this is obviously a newer control pad now what you want to do is you've got a screw located over here and another one down here hopefully I can show you that a little bit better so down here and over here I'm going to remove them and I'll be back in a second after you've removed both them screws what you want to do next is lift this board up you've got a tiny little tab located on the left and one to the right hand side of the battery so all I'm going to do is use my prising tool put it on that little tab and then just lift that up so that's lifted up this side of the board I don't know if you can see there but it's loose and then the next one is hidden behind here like I say to the right hand side of the battery I cannot actually see it because it's too dark where is it is that it yeah that's it so that's unloosened that and then now all I want to do is there's two little screws. There's one here and one over there. So what I'm going to do is remove them. Once you've removed them two screws, you can put this board back in place. Just make sure these ribbon cables aren't getting crushed or anything. So I'm just going to push that back into place. And then I'm just going to lift this whole thing off. If it does get stuck, it's either getting caught on this top ribbon cable or the analogs are just getting caught inside. So I'm just going to Put this over to one side and then now we've just got to focus on this so you've got two screws you've got one there and one there what i'm going to remove when i do remove this is going to release the trigger so i'll take these two screws out and be back i've just removed the last screw there the way i was holding this i've got two fingers on the back here while i was unscrewing that just so i can hold this so what you want to do is put this to the side and now what you want to focus on is this so this is obviously the right hand side trigger what you want to do is there's a tiny little ribbon cable here which is the green one with me tweezers I'm going to remove that with the tweezers now hidden behind here there's going to be a little screw which is that one there hopefully you can see it i'm going to quickly remove that that screw is removed i just put that there and then if i turn this over you've got another three screws you've got a one there a one there and a one there and this just lets you remo remove this cover so I'm going to take these off now once you've removed them screws this is where you're gonna to have to start and be really careful so what you want to do is lift this cover off that'll just lift off like this now this is going to be the tricky bit for people so what this does is for your haptic feedback so you see that goes all the way back and forth now if you get this wrong it might get stuck so if you're pushing here that might be where it'll end but you can see that one travels all the way I'll show you how to sort that in a second so I'm just going to lift this up and then I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to take this little bar out that just lifts off. And then this cog here, I'm going to hold my finger on it like so. And then I'm just going to remove that button. You've got a 
tiny little conductor pad in here all you want to do is just get your tweezers and just lift that out and just put that to one side and then this is just your little ribbon cable for your buttons this should lift out there you go did it lift it out and then i'm going to put one of the other ones in the good thing about these they can go in like either side because both of them are exactly the same so you kind of get these mixed up so to put this in the same process you took it out just like that and then just with your tweezers or whatever you're using just gently gently press it down into place mine is in place there um, next what you want to do is just lie this down and these what you've got here I've just twisted mine off so this one that looks like a little tooth you want to put it have I got something to point at it with you want to put it inside the bit where the pin goes through there's two tiny little holes just there and there and you want to put it in there so if I line that up and then just put it in there press it down hopefully you will be able to see that I'm trying to move the camera best I can so all that's for is just to press as a little digital trigger so just make sure that's pressed in place and then what you want to do is grab this make sure your finger is on the cog again just double check that that's in place and then all you want to do is grab this put it over or under I should say and then turn it round and then just make sure that hole lines up get your little pin put your pin through and then there that should be in place and if you listen really carefully that's what the clip is that's what it's that's what it sounds like so now back to this little bit this is the bit that I was saying might confuse people so you see the cogs all the way over there so where's me where's my screwdriver on the cog here that end little tooth there is where you want the end of this so I'm gonna put that on there just gonna twist it round a bit keep twisting keep twisting keep twisting actually you know what I'm just gonna move the cog so hopefully I'm making sense here bottom cog there this on there and then into the into the pin so now when I push it it moves back and forth hopefully you can see that moves all the way otherwise it would have got stuck so I'm going to put this cover back on just make sure it's lined up put these screws back in them screws are all in place now all you want to do is put the last screw in which is that one under here so there we go, that's our last one, and then I'm just going to tighten that up. These don't have to be super duper tight, just put them in and nip them up, so to speak. So that's as tight as I want that. And then all you want to do is put that ribbon cable into that one. Now if you're struggling, you can just use the tweezers, which I'm going to use the tweezers. Just get the tweezers, line that up, push it down, and there we go, we're in business. That's what it looks like. And then we're going to put the back of this into place so that obviously goes this way just line it up that way and then push that down the back here and you'll know that's in place and then I'm just going to hold my finger on the back here put these two screws in once you've got them two screws in place you just want to make sure that that's working just double check everything's lined up and we're just going to do a repeat process on the other side so I'm going to re remove these two screws I am going to keep my hand on the back of this so I know it doesn't fall out. So there's one screw out. There's another screw out. Hopefully I'm making sense here. I'm just going to show you what I mean. So that screws out. And then this I'm just holding on my back and then when that comes out I've lifted it out. So this I'm just going to put over to one side. And then we're going to do a repeat, a, a repeat process of what we've just done. So little ribbon cable. Just remove that. Give it, a, give it a tiny little wiggle don't be too hard with it and then little screw here if you want you can just fast forward through this if you want because obviously this is we've already seen this but I'm just going to try and be a little bit more in depth on this spin over to this side three screws there there and there I'm also trying to be as fast as I can possibly be there's one out Here's two out, and number three. 
drop that and then remove the cover and then again with this like I say this moves all the way so I'm just going to lift this up and lift it over I'm going to get me tweezers again and I'm just going to remove this pin if I can get to this pin there you go pin is removed and then I'm just going to keep my finger on the little cog here I'm going to remove this lift it over put that down and then next what we want to do is remove the little conductor which is that put it to one side take this ribbon cable out and then put the next one in same way it come out doesn't look like it wants to go in then just gently press it down from all sides there we go that's in place it looks good to me now I'm just going to place this down and I'm going to grab this and me little piece that looks like a, a tooth again and we're going to put it in the corner here as I mentioned where the bar is so if I can adjust that turn that round find the little holes and there we go just press that down just make sure it's flush then lift this up again I've got my finger on the cog I'm gonna bring this under over so I'm gonna go under and then I'm gonna go over so under over so put that under make sure that lines up is that lined up there we go I'm gonna spin this round I'm gonna press this down just a little bit just enough so I can get this pin back in so I've got the pin just line that hole up so it looks good push that in is that is that hole lined up there it is now it is now have no fear and then just press that again just to make sure that's clicking that looks good to me yeah everything everything looks good we're gonna find this little bit again I'm gonna turn the cog just so that bottom bit I'm gonna point it out again this bottom bit you see how this hasn't got any any teeth on the left hand side but this has on the right it's this bottom one that you want lined up with the bottom corner of this so I'm going to put the bottom corner of that on there and then put it round the pin so I don't know if you can see there so I'm just going to move this back and forth so that's what it should be doing it should move back and forth back and forth if it gets stuck you've obviously got that wrong the cover we're going to just put back on nice and easy three screws again I'll obviously pause the video here because I'm just putting screws back in once all them three screws are in you've just got one more round this side so I will grab this screw put it in here tighten that up there you go that's nipped up and then just put that inside there I'm going to use the tweezers so I'm going to press down, hold it with the tweezers, and hopefully you can see. And that's that's in there. It's got a little arrow on it as well, but that's how you know that's in there. And then if I grab the main part of the board again, and I turn it over, that's where I want the screws to go in. So we're just going to go down and up. And then I'm going to hold that with the back of my hand. Make sure them two screws are lined up and then, sorry, make sure them holes are lined up and then put the screws in. What you want to do next when you've got them two screws in, just press these just to make sure they're all working, which they are. Now we're going to put this back onto here. There's a little tiny ribbon cable on the bottom here. Make sure that isn't over. And this one up here, the blue one, is just going to go through the hole. Hopefully, I'll do it in one. Yeah, it worked. Let's just make sure all that's all right nothing's catching no nope, everything looks good that one down there like I say this just comes around here and then yeah everything everything so yeah looks fine so I'm gonna push this and I'm gonna lift this green board if it does get stuck it's just the analog sticks what are stopping you from lifting it you can see there just push that one a little bit to the left and that will lift up now what we want to do is put them two silver screws back into place the one over here and the one over here the two screws are in place like I say they're the silver ones so you can't get them mixed up and then just double check everything's not caught lift that little ribbon cable up that one just goes over just just a little bit just a little bit 
And everything looks fine to me. Yeah, everything looks fine. Now what we're going to do is connect all the connectors. So I'm going to start with this little one on the bottom. Just going to push that one in. And then this one on the right hand side. It's got a little tab. That's that's a good thing about it. I can hold it with the with a little tab. Push that one in. That one's in. And then the one over here on the left hand side again. It's got another little tab. Push that one in. That one easily went in. Just double checking as I go around. Now the last one what I want to do is this one. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on my own. If I might need some assistance from oh no you know what that'll just push in oh well it's easier to get in than it is to get out uh, next thing what you want to do battery cover and obviously the screws already still in there now that's tightened up the last little bit is this one what i took off i'm going to put it in the connector first and then just push it around so get it in the connector There we go. And then all this does is it just hooks into there. So if I push down, hopefully I'll get it straight away. There we go. That one's done. Easy peasy. So that's done. And then we're just going to put the battery back in place. I'm going to put the connector in. That just presses straight down. And then that goes underneath there. And then the battery is in place. I had to stop the video there because I was about to put the cover on and then I just realized that I've got a screw over here and a screw over there that I've got to put in. So I'm going to quickly put these in. Then two screws are in. Now all you want to do is put the back cover on. Just double check everything looks fine. Nothing's sticking out or anything's wrong. So I'm just going to go over the top, make sure them two are lined up and then I'm just going to push down, snap it into place. See there it's not up. Just give it a little push. Yeah, everything looks fine. So as you know, there's a screw down here, a screw there, and then the two on the bo on the top, sorry. So I'm gonna put them in, be back. All them screws are in place, as you can see, tops and bottoms, all done. Now the last bit what you want to do is your R1 and L1, just drop that one over there. You've got two tiny little holes right in the middle of them. Now these little pieces are the ones that you put in there. So hopefully, I'll just drop that one, put that in there. Hopefully you can see that, and then all I'm going to do is just... Push it down just so it's flush. Make sure it is flush though. Hopefully you can see, but that's what these look like. The way I did it, obviously I've got my tweezers. I just pressed down to give these a little bit more pressure, but now they've gone as flush as I can get them. If you look on these, they've got L1 and R1, so just make sure you get them on the right way. So that's L. So I'm going to put it over here. Line it up. Snap it into place. Give it a press if you want, just to make sure it works. And then this one's obviously the right. Same thing, put it in, give it a press, and then that's it in place. So if you look, that's how far these go down. See there when I press it, that one hardly moves. 
that one just goes down a slight little bit. If I compare it to this one, you can see the travel is absolutely massive. Just it feels feels horrible using that one. But this one, so much better. Now the final bit, this will either go in first time or it'll take a couple of times. You just want to put this in there like that. Hopefully you just press up. Oh, it's went in first time. Don't don't believe it. Just snap that into place. This goes over here. Just push it like that. And then the same with this one. Snap it. There's a tiny little gap here. Is there? Is there a gap there? No, there's not. I'm I'm actually seeing things. I thought there was a gap there. So everything's if I zoom out a little bit, everything's back in place. They feel much, much, much better. I like them now. The only thing is, if you're using these, you'll have to turn off your haptic feedback because obviously you won't be using the haptic feedback. If you get stuck with anything, as always, leave us a message and I'll get straight back to you.